welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about my 10 best purchases from Sephora in 2021. So I did this, um, I think I posted it maybe last week with the 10 best purchases from Lululemon and you loved it. So I'll make sure to have that linked in the cards and below if you want to check that out. But I wanted to share my 10 best items from Sephora today. So I'm also going to be doing Nordstrom, so stay tuned for that. I'll probably have that before the year ends. It'll probably be after Vlogmas, but before the year ends. So if you're interested in what I love from Nordstrom, that's coming soon. And then if there's anything else that you want to see, any other stores, let me know. Um, I was thinking about doing Athleta. I don't know if you're interested in that, so if you are, let me know down below. Otherwise, we'll just stick with those three stores. That's totally fine. But Let's get in to the items that I loved from Sephora. Okay, so before we talk about my 10 items, I did want to mention a couple things. The first thing is this sweater is super affordable, in stock, in a ton of colors from Nordstrom. So I'll have it linked below. While I'm filming, it is currently 20% off and it is only $28. It's originally $35, so still super affordable, but... I really like this sweater. It's very lightweight, very comfortable. So if you're looking for something to grab, you know, during this kind of like holiday winter season, it's still in stock and you can also pick up in store like the next day with Nordstrom or um, if you have a Nordstrom rack, you can do it at Nordstrom rack as well nearby because I know like a lot of the Nordstroms closed down during the pandemic. So anyway, wanted to share that my sweater is super affordable. You should grab it. I really like it. And then... I'm going to check this on my phone, so I'm 100% certain, but today is the 19th, and until the 24th, so Christmas Eve at Sephora, they are having 20% off all full-size fragrances, and I think the code is fragrance20. I'm trying to see because I actually added a couple to my cart. I haven't purchased yet, but um, I wanted to see if I had the code... I'm pretty sure it's fragrance 20. I'll make sure that it's written down below and that I have the link and everything like that um, that you need. But I wanted to mention a couple things. Um, I wanted to show you some of the perfumes that I love that I would recommend if you're looking either for yourself or for a last minute gift, especially with Sephora. Usually there's a Sephora close to you. Um, they're also doing same day delivery. I think the code is like same day or something. So if it is like the 24th and you need it, because I think it expires like the 24th at midnight, you can still get it. So the first one that I want to talk about is, okay, I love getting these little like um, travel size because I love throwing these in my purse and also I can try out a bunch of different scents. So these unfortunately are not on sale. It's full size only but you could still try these out. So I'll link um, the full size and if it comes in like a travel size like this, I'll have it linked below as well. But this one is the Marc Jacobs fragrance. It's Daisy Oh So Fresh. And oh yeah, this one is Daisy Oh So Fresh. I also love Daisy. So um, this one I wear more in the spring and summer and it says, I'm really bad about describing scents, so I'm just going to read it to you. It says, sophisticated but not too serious, Daisy Oh So Fresh sparkles with a sunny, vibrant energy. A spirited incarnation of the original Daisy, this fragrance excites the senses with a bright elegance and whimsical charm. Like the woman who wears it, Daisy Oh So Fresh inspires boldness and femininity, sweetness and unpredictability. The scents enticing top notes of raspberry and grapefruit sparkle on the skin like sunshine, deepening into a sensuous heart of wild rose and a musky, sophisticated finish of warm plum and cedar wood. Wow, whoever wrote that, that was very, very well written, very colorful. Great marketing. Um, I love like rose and florals, but I also really love musky like types of scents, so I'm not surprised. I have had that one for actually a really long time not that specific one but um i really love that fragrance for a while the next fragrance that i want to talk about is actually um a present that my husband gave me a few years ago this is the dior hypnotic poison and i like to wear this one in fall and winter the smell of this one reminds me always of the holidays because he gave it to me at christmas um so this one it says the hypnotic poison has four contrasting facets intoxicating bitter almond jasmine 
and what is that I don't even know what that is uh, vanilla and musk I should have read this before I started filming but anyway it says it's like warm and sweet keynotes are almond jasmine and vanilla so anyway I really like that one for this time of year and then I wanted to mention two fragrances that are new to me this year that I really like so the first one is the replica um, coffee break and I heard someone talking about this and I was like that sounds interesting so I also got this one in the small size I just love I love having these for my purse and just to like try new things so this one is also warm and spicy it says this perfume evokes subtle aromas of warm coffee and milk accord that blend with a sweetness defined by vanilla wow so I guess I gravitate towards spice and vanilla um this fragrance is blended atop light musk while the fresh spearmint and lavender is revealed once set on the skin for a long lasting fresh scent that is balanced by a soft sweetness that's interesting i wouldn't i would not have been able to describe that accurately for you but i really like that one like i said that's a new one to me and then the other one <clears throat> that's new i've decided i really like tom ford scents and they're really expensive but I got this like discovery set from Nordstrom there it was also on sale I think it's not on sale anymore if it's in stock I'll link it down below but there were like five little Tom Ford scents it was still pricey because it is Tom Ford but it's really fun to try all these scents out so the one that I got is Ode Wood and this is a um, gender neutral scent my husband was like that smells really good I want that but this one says it is smoky incense filled temples and a passion for rare precious oud wood inspired Tom's Ford pioneering exotic or composition of exotic woods and spices. It says a composition of exotic smoky woods and rare oud, sandalwood, rosewood, eastern spices, and sensual amber. Those are all scents that I love. Um, revealing oud's rich and compelling power. So anyway... I just wanted to share those four scents with you some of them I've had for a really long time some of them are new to me but I've really been loving those and highly recommend if you're looking for a fragrance to try out like I said if you don't want to commit unfortunately you won't get the sale price but you could always pick up these and just test them out for the season for the holidays whatever super great and also a good gift if you're looking for a last minute gift for somebody Okay, so moving on into my top 10 favorites from Sephora, I actually have 11, and the last one is a repurchase, so it doesn't really count, but these are all items that some of them I've actually purchased multiple times. I have them saved on my phone, and I will pop the screenshots up, so actually let me move over a little. I'll pop the screenshots up here so you can see the product, but these are in no particular order. They were just the way I kind of went through my purchases from the last year and screenshotted the ones that were my favorite so the first one is the tower 28 mini sos daily facial spray i've mentioned this a couple times before i purchased this kind of on a whim i actually saw on the sephora channel that one of the beauty directors was talking about how it really helped her skin and one time i think i said this in a vlog too one time i had a facial and the esthetician told me that my skin was dehydrated and so one of the ways to help that is to keep sprays around and just spray my face throughout the day. I also work in an office building, so, you know, I don't get, like, great fresh air or anything like that. So I love to keep one of these at my desk, at work, and um, in my car. And then I also have one actually by my sink at home. So I have, like, different sprays that I just try and, like, spray on my face throughout the day. So this one, like I said, I just bought on a whim it sounded interesting it has like three ingredients it's very simple very clean it and i know this could be kind of gross but it's like basically like it's salty so like when you spray it on your face if you lick your lips it, it almost feels like you like got sweat on your lips and i know that sounds kind of gross but it just really works well and i don't even know how to explain it other than it's hydrating but it also helped my skin like I was experiencing some pretty bad breakouts and so I kind of switched up my products and this was one of the products that I started using and I went through it was a small one actually I think I have it here with me um, I kept the bottle in case I wanted to like refill it so I had a small one available but um, I had thrown it in my car and I used it every day for like a month 
and I really really like it and I purchased it actually repurchased it in the small and the large size so now I have both and I think it's really great if you like facial sprays I think it's worth giving it a try like I said it has three ingredients so it's pretty good for you it's very simple um, but it's also very hydrating and it did help my skin it helped you know it was one of the products that helped clear up my skin so I think it's great I would check it out okay the next product is the belief aqua bomb so my husband and I have actually been using this for years and in the summer I use it morning and night in the fall and winter I use it only in the morning it's such a great gel moisturizer it's so lightweight but yet still hydrating um, I have combo skin so you know it gets oily but it's also dry so it's kind of difficult to find moisturizers that work well and this one is just so great it like um, makeup sits really well on top of it and like I said it's hydrating but still lightweight so um, I can get my husband to wear it as well it's just very like simple it doesn't you know it's it's a very like basic moisturizer it doesn't have like all these scents or anything like that so um, I think it's a great everyday moisturizer I've been using it for years now and I highly recommend okay the next item is the Lancome CILS booster mascara primer this is another item that I've been using for years and I honestly couldn't or won't do my mascara without it I actually have like three backups I'm not kidding you I love this use it every day that I have mascara on which mascara is the one like makeup product if I only have five minutes and I can put one thing on my face it's mascara and then I'll throw lip gloss on later so I love it I wear it all the time I will curl my lashes put the mascara primer on let it sit for like 30 seconds and then put my mascara on and I really think it helps lengthen and kind of like fill out your lashes I think it's really really great like I said I use it every time I do my mascara and I can't imagine not having it so I really love it okay the next product is the Isle of Paradise self tanning drops in dark these are super affordable in my opinion and they last a really long time so I was actually looking back at some old videos from the summer and I was like wow like my skin looked really good I was like what was I doing it was these tanning drops like I would never let my skin because uh, my body was so tan because of the summer and so I would use the tanning drops like twice a week just to keep my face um, tan and then I didn't really need to put like any makeup on because like my face matched my body and everything looked you know good so I really like it I like the dark what I do is at night I will put my moisturizer in the palm of my hand and then put like three to five drops it really depends on like how tan my skin my body is three to five drops you put it all over your face your neck your ears get the back of your neck because a lot of times we're wearing our hair up in the summer or you know obviously you can do it now but I, I'm specifically referring to when I did it in the summer and then make sure to wash your hands because it will it will tan your hands if you don't wash it um so like I said I haven't been using it lately and I don't really know why I just it's sitting on my countertop in the bathroom and I just haven't used it but this is a great product especially if you have more pale skin and you want like an easy way to tan your face I really like it um it lasts a really long time all you need is like three to five drops and honestly for some people once a week is probably sufficient I just did it twice a week in the summer to keep my skin super super tan and I really like those drops so highly recommend okay next product is the Kopari coconut deodorant so if you haven't tried a natural deodorant I really think you should it's much better for you I made the switch sorry if you can hear that my husband and father-in-law are building something downstairs anyway I made the switch to natural deodorant when I was pregnant um, and continued it with breastfeeding and everything like that so I highly recommend because you have you know and I, I don't know I'm not a medical professional or anything like that but you do have like lymph nodes and it can just get into your bloodstream and aluminum is not great for you it's also not great for the baby if you're breastfeeding or pregnant or whatever so anyway that was enough for me to try um, aluminum free natural deodorant so I really like the Kopari one I tried the La Vanilla and I didn't love that one you can also do and I'm forgetting what it's called right now but there's like this 
powder that you can buy on Amazon and you can do like a detox of your underarms. I think I saw it um, on Lauren McBride. She's a blogger. I think I saw it on her blog where she talks about how she detoxes her armpits. If I can find that blog post, I'll link it down below for you because that was kind of like what helped me like jumpstart this process. And I think she says that she like detoxes her underarms like every so often just because like you need to get the buildup out, you know? So, and again, sorry if that sounds gross, but it, it is what it is, you know? I mean, it's our bodies, it's, you know, it is what we have to do. So if you haven't tried a natural deodorant, just try it. You have to give your body some time to adjust, but it's much better for you, at least from what I've, I've read and the way I understand it. So I highly recommend, and I think this is a good one. Okay, the next item is the Olaplex number three, and I love this. I have gone through a couple of these little bottles. So what I do, and if you're um, like unfamiliar, this is basically like a bonding treatment that you do before you wash your hair. So I actually like double cleanse my hair, and so I will actually wash it once, put this in my hair. <clears throat> Sorry, I think I'm getting a cold. I'll put this in my hair and let it sit for like 45 minutes i saw somewhere that because it says like 10 minutes or longer i saw somewhere that if your hair is still wet the product's still working so even though it says 10 minutes like as long as your hair is still damp it's still doing what it needs to do so anyway um i'll do that put my hair up in a bun let it sit do whatever i need to do around the house and then wash my hair out and it just makes my hair so soft and I can tell that it's it's working like it's definitely helping and I think if you have like damaged hair or you're looking for just something to kind of help with the health of your hair I would recommend trying the number three like it's such a different product than anything I've ever used I've used hair masks but this is not it's not a hair mask it's like a different treatment so um, I recommend giving it a try I think it's really helped my hair out this year okay next product is the Ilia liquid light serum highlighter so I've been like experiment, experimenting with Ilia because it is a clean, cleaner brand, which is something that I'm very interested in. And I have been mixing this highlighter into my foundation or moisturizer or whatever I'm using to put all over my face. So I'll put like my um, like CC cream and then a pump of that and like put it on and it just makes my skin glow so nicely. The other thing that I've done for like a couple of events, like I've had a wedding to go to, I'll take a pump of it and like put it all over my like decollete um, or like you can mix it into your moisturizer for your legs and it just gives you the most beautiful glow. So I like the brand Ilia. I've been trying out some of the products. This is one that I really like. I think it makes your skin look super beautiful and I think it's worth a try. So if you're looking for something to make your skin look glowy, try this product out. The next product is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm and I have this in the color Vanilla that's the one that I've repurchased a couple of times. I actually bought the set during the Sephora sale where I got three of them. I think it was like vanilla, vanilla beige, and I don't know. I don't know what the third one was, but I really like the vanilla one, which is the clear one. I like to put it on at night. Um, I really love the Laneige lip mask to wear at night, especially this time of the year because it's a little bit thicker, but I was wearing the Summer Fridays one at night for a while there, um, especially like a little bit earlier in the year when my skin wasn't so dry, and I think it's very, very moisturizing. So right now I have one in my car and one by my desk because I'm using them more during the day. They're just, they're not sticky, but they're super moisturizing and they stay on your lips for a while. So I think... Like I said, personally, I like to wear them. I have been wearing them. Like, I'll put lip liner on, and I'll put them on as, like, my gloss. But they're so hydrating that it's almost like a treatment. So I think it's great for this time of the year. I have a bunch just, like, laying around. And they're super helpful, and they keep my lips super hydrated. Okay, the next item is the Pureology Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Spray. This leave-in spray helps so much if your hair is super tangled. So my hair used to be... Um, much lighter in the summer and when you have lighter hair at least for me it gets tangled a lot easier and it was always super frustrating when I'd get out of the shower to take like 20 minutes to brush my hair so this leave-in spray helped so much just spray it all over my hair let it sit for a second and then brush my hair and it was so much easier to brush so if you're having a hard time getting the tangles out of your hair or you need some kind of treatment I honestly don't even know 
I know it's like really great and I know it has a lot of other benefits but for me I mainly use it as like a spray to help brush out my hair so I think this is great I use it all the time I believe it also has heat protectant in it I could be wrong but I think it does so anyway I recommend this one I have a backup and I will continue to repurchase okay the last item which is one that I repurchase all the time is the living proof dry shampoo I've tried a lot of dry shampoos and this one is by far my favorite so the one con that I will say is because I have darker hair now it does leave a white cast so I always spray my dry shampoo at night so I shower get ready for bed grab my dry shampoo I part my hair spray it in my hair let it sit for a minute really like like scratch it in like massage it in put my hair up in a ponytail and go to bed and then when I get up in the morning especially if I work out there's zero white cast sometimes if I don't work out I have to like kind of rub it in a little bit more and if I go with a heavy hand but it's other than that it like really really helps with the oil it smells great I mean I can go a week probably a longer if I want to do but I usually go about a week without washing my hair in the summer I'll wash my hair usually twice a week just because I'm sweating more and everything like that but this helps extend my hair where I literally only have to wash it once a week so if you're looking for something that will help with that this is a really really great dry shampoo all right so my final item is a bonus item this is number 11 this is the Tartlet in Bloom eyeshadow palette so the reason that I wanted to throw this one in is because I purchased this a couple years ago and my son got his fingers into it so it was time to buy a new one and there are so many shadows on the market like eyeshadow palettes that I was like do I really need to repurchase this but I love it so much it's such a good palette and they're in particular I'll see if I can like um oh here they are okay I have the I have a picture of it on my phone so I love funny girl and smarty pants so you can see it in the picture but um funny girl is such like a light like sparkly color that I love to put all over the lid and then I take smarty pants and blend it into the crease that's like my everyday work look or it was for a while and then my son messed up the palette but I love that look it brightens your eyes but it just looks so like clean and nice and opens your eyes and just looks like really really beautiful so I repurchase that palette I very rarely repurchase eyeshadow palettes there's just so many good ones on the market and you know you can always go to the next best thing but this is one that if you're looking for a good palette for somebody I really think this one is just so versatile and so easy to use I talked my best friend into buying it as like one of her first like palette she didn't know what to buy and so she bought this one and I just think it's really great and recently actually they had it on sale for like 50% off I think it was maybe during Black Friday but you can usually find it on sale and I also do know I'll see if I can link um, the Tarte website below as well because I think if you sign up for emails on Tarte they give you like 20% off your first purchase so you could buy it from Tarte and um, get a discount there so I really like that palette I think that if you're looking for a good everyday palette you should try that one out all right so that is it for my top 10 11 really products from sephora that i purchased in 2021 let me know what you think about the products that i mentioned was there one that you know you particularly like as well or is there something that you think i should try out in 2022 and i can share in the next year's video let me know down below i really appreciate you watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one